Jesus sits in the world. Five, four, three, two, one. So you are one of the founders and one of the organizers of this event, second year in a row. How does it feel? It feels incredible, so overwhelming. I can't believe Ramadan's come around so fast again. Uh, it's amazing to be here on the same street, but with a brand new design, you know, symbolic of Ramadan. You have the, you have the sun, you have the moon, you have dawn and dusk really represented. Islamic geometric art, it's, it's just incredible. <laughs> London is full of Muslims, there are so many Muslims, people of all communities, and yet Christmas lights are everywhere you look, but, but Ramadan lights have only just begun. Um, Aisha Desai a couple of years ago, during COVID actually, she tells me this story, I think it's amazing, she said she grew up watching the Christmas lights and um, one night sitting with her sister, we were talking, she, they were talking about why there aren't Ramadan lights. So she brought this structure to where she lived, this structure that said Ramadan lights, or happy Ramadan, sorry, and um, when she came to us with the idea, and we decided to come bring it here, to Coventry Street, it was just, it was about showing people that London here has the highest footfall in all of Europe. People will come here, tourists, you know, Londoners, and they'll see, okay, Ramadan is here, Ramadan's for everyone, it's not private, it's nothing to be ashamed of. Being Muslim is something to be proud of, um, and that's, that's why we're here. I wish it had taken less time, but here we are, right? Yes, um, I uh, during COVID I was sitting at uh, the supper table with my sister and um, you know we were used to going and seeing the Christmas lights growing up. I also lived in the Middle East and I used to love Ramadan out there. It was such a joyous occasion. There were lights everywhere and I wanted to just bring a bit of that joy to the UK, to London where I live, where I grew up. Um, and so during COVID we fundraised through the community, started in its first year in Finchley um, in North London and uh, it gained traction and then uh, you know four years later we're here for the second time in Piccadilly the dream was to always be in central London and it's really incredible to see um, you know the light up for the second year led by the Aziz Foundation and uh, yeah it's been um, it's been a, it's been a really great journey what are you looking forward to this Ramadan oh um, just that spiritual like you know reawakening that you get I'm so excited well this is significant for every Muslim in the world actually uh, including in London and elsewhere the most important thing is of course it's a month of remembrance of uh, the poor, the people in need. Of course, we are remembering uh, this month of Ramadan, especially our brothers in Palestine.